In the very beginning, we were laughed at and scoffed at and scorned. But now it's starting to be, wait a second, these people were onto something. They were just 30 years ahead of their time. They're called earthships because the word house already has preconceived ideas in people's minds. We wanted to make the point that these are not houses, they're machines, they're ships that'll sail on the seas of tomorrow. If you came here from another planet, you would see these tires all over the place and you would see trees too. You would then determine, well, trees burn, termites eat them, plus this planet desperately needs trees. Uh, one tree is worth, you know, a thousand politicians. <laughs> I have determined then that tires are the most logical thing to build with on this planet, regardless of whether they are secondary use, are manufactured for one thing and then used for another. See trees, you have to mill, you have to cut them, you have to deforest. This is just easier, more logical, and a better product. The Earthships are essentially just absolutely sustainable buildings built from recycled materials. And now that I've been doing it for three decades, there's no better building materials that I could invent or manufacture. They're perfect for all the different things you need in a building. They're sustainable in that a family of four could live here and have zero utility bill and have food and be comfortable and have water. They, one, are built on the principle of solar thermal dynamics. They harvest their own electricity with sun and wind. The water is harvested from the roof and stored in cisterns and run through a filter bank and a pressurized, so it's all rain and snow melt. The water is then recycled through the sewage systems which run through the house and grow plants. So the sewage is completely contained and treated on site, nothing leaves. We invented garbage, there is no such thing as waste or garbage in nature with plants and animals. It's only in our scheme of things that that is an issue the thing I see with people is they're ready. They're ready to make a change. Our rules, regulations, and authorities, and culture, and tradition are inhibiting real people from being able to go and do the right thing for the planet.